picking up on my part three of my first 14 days in chips. Um, my last video was a little short because I only had a little bit of recording time left on my video and I think I just touched briefly upon my second part to my video where um, some of the receipts that I was talking with this paper in my hand, I talk with my hands a lot, so not realizing that I was talking with my hands, I have the paper in my hand and you can probably see the customer's um, info in the back. And um, in my other video where I last left off, I was talking about um, arriving to uh, day two of my first 14 days uh, where um, I got there on time because I left my bank branch uh, around four. And um, I think the delivery was supposed to be, I believe it was a six to seven time slot. And um, I got there on time. Um, I knew where the location was, the grocery store that I went to shop at. I had mentioned in prior videos that this was my first time shopping at Bilo as a shift shopper. And um, I was excited, you know, um, even though my first day had went rather okay, I wasn't fully discouraged, even though my last order left me feeling kind of contemplating whether I wanted to continue. But um, I knew I wanted to at least commit to doing this at least one full week as much as I can and then um, my second week see how it plays out. So on my second day, I arrived to Bilo. Um, the order was about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, about 18 items on the list. So not as, not my biggest order. Still new uh, grocery store shopping at. So, um, but I've been to this store and I shopped at this store. So that kind of helped a little bit. And shopping for yourself versus doing shipped is completely different because you're navigating through an app as you shop. And really how I am being a new ship shopper is that I want to make sure that I get the exact items that the customer um, wants. And if there are substitutions, um, I'm, I'm, you know, doing it exactly the way they want, you know. So when I got there, I was happy that it wasn't crowded. Um, I kind of knew what to expect uh, at that store, so I knew how to navigate. Um, I felt confident, so I went in there, grabbed everything. Of course, I texted the customer as soon as I got there. She was really sweet, and I was like, oh, you can, you can tell right away what kind of customer you have from the first text. And um, she was really cool. She didn't really, I don't think she added anything onto the, um, onto the order, and I believe that everything on the order they had. I didn't have to make any substitutions, and um, it, w it went rather well. So I was really pleased. Um, I gave myself enough time to shop. I think I left out, um, I think I shopped within the hour. I'm trying to look to see on here the time. Oh, it does. I left around 5.37. So I think they had a six to seven delivery window. And um, it wasn't that far um, away from that location. And on Bilo receipts, they do tell you how many items. So actually it's 17 items um, were total in this order. I don't know what I said earlier, I may have said 16. But 17 items total, so I do like that better than Publix, knowing how many items it was. And um, the receipt is stamped at 5.37 p.m. So as soon as I finished your order, I normally let the customer know once I get there, to open up the floodgates of if they want to add anything onto their order and just, you know, communicating with them. Um, and then generally I let them know that I'm about to check out in case they do want to add something that allows them to text me and let me know if they want to, they thought of something that they want to add on. Um, after I finish checking out, I then send them my on the way text and uh, drive there. Google Maps. Google Maps navigated me well, but I felt like I got lost because like I was saying earlier in my prior videos, I was having some trouble with my data on my phone. And with the data not working, um, you still can navigate on Google Maps. That has changed throughout the years, 
but um, I felt like I had missed a couple of turns and was just going around in circles. Um, but I eventually got to my destination and I got there on time. And they also had a kind of um, peculiar driveway, very uh, narrow driveway, small turnaround, just prior, to, just similar to the second uh, order I had on my first day. Um, really hard to turn around. Even the third order I had on my first day had an abnormal driveway as well, very narrow, um, also private home. So I was learning that a lot of, um, of the customers have these really strange driveways that you got to be really careful. So like I had said in my part three of my video, this is technically my 3.5, three and a half. Um, I uh, make those kind of notations on the back of the receipt, um, the addresses, the name, the order number, if they tip, if they didn't tip, whether it was cash or online, um, and their driveway, whether it's a private home or an apartment and what kind of driveway it is. So if I ever have them again, I at least know what I'm dealing with. So I'm mentally prepared. Because I'm really a planner and um, I like to know about things um, ahead of time so I can plan accordingly. So when I got to the destination, um, it was a husband home with the young child. Um, he was really nice as well. Um, I took, he didn't really know what she had ordered, but um, I came in, had reusable bags. He was fine, he let me in. I think he had a dog as well, but the dog, you know, I have no problem with animals and animals don't have a problem with me, so it wasn't really, um, scared by that um i had mentioned before in another video that you are if you are afraid of animals or allergic you may ship may not be for you because there is no way that a customer is going to tell you if they have an animal or not i've never seen anyone give me a heads up unless they have an animal that can be aggressive i mean i think that would make more sense or maybe there'll be a drop off on their porch or in front of their door um so after i left that order she you know I never got to meet her in particular so it was a little disappointing that way but her husband was really sweet and the child was really cute and um, as I was pulling up the actually a pizza delivery guy pulled up at the same time and um, you know uh, I left shortly after him and that particular order this lady gave me a $15 online tip so I was like wow you know, I was like, wow, these people are really, really nice. I'm learning that it really just depends on the person. You can't always expect a tip. And one of the things that I've learned um, with doing ship is that don't bank on the tips. You know, I've done so far 16 orders total. And out of the 16 I've done, only three haven't tipped me. So getting a tip is like a plus to me. You know, you're gonna really, you, you know you're gonna get paid for doing the order. Um, you're not being compensated for your time. I don't think so because the amount of time that I'm noticing that it takes me on average to shop is at least an hour, um, at least an hour to shop the items, no matter how big or small. Some orders have taken me up to two hours depending how big it is. And um, I've done a couple of doubles and I'm going to touch upon that as well on, I think, my third day that I did my first double. And how that worked for me. And then I've done some doubles that I just did uh, two days ago that didn't work for me. So, like I said in my videos, this is my first 14 days. These are my personal opinions and experiences. And um, just giving you a real good idea about how much you got paid for it. The, in terms of how much I got paid, I would have to be on my on the app to let you know what what I earned. Um, but it was a, it was a, it, for the amount of items I got, it was a pretty good one. The tip really helped out a lot, and um, there are some people that tip really well. And I think anyone that tips you at least five dollars, that that it's helpful. You know, it's helpful for gas and miles on your car. But when it's like fifteen dollars or twenty dollars, it really stands out. You know. So um, after I did that order, um, I went to my next one, and my next one I did Publix again, and this one happened to be uh, the store that I worked at. So 
kind of was good that I had another order on my second day doing shit because I wanted them to see that, you know, even though you guys are not giving me hours, I can pick up work other, you know, elsewhere, you know. So I my, my next order was um, actually um, near close to my house, of course. It's the closest location to my house. Got to the store. The items on the list were, like I said, Publix doesn't really give you a list of how many items it is, but I can kind of give an idea. So this order, which was my second one of day two and the last one I'm doing for the day, I believe the delivery window was a seven to eight. So it didn't take me long to get there. Um, I'm not even sure it was a seven, eight or eight to nine delivery window. I don't really remember those details, but I basically finished this order up 748 that's that's a time stamp so it may have been a seven to eight window um and i'll probably touch upon like what happens if you're late and all that so um this item this particular order had one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two okay about twenty two items give or take and she was one that wasn't very communicative I text as soon as I got to the store, like I oh that I do every time to allow the customer to know that I'm there. Let me know if you need to add anything on that you forgot. Try to let me know your add-ons earlier in the shopping trip. She didn't respond until 45 minutes into the shopping trip. Now, mind you, I said most orders take about an hour. So this is the latter part of the shopping trip that she finally realized oh let me respond to these text messages this young lady because there were quite a few things that 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 the store was out of and here we go again this is Publix again and Publix I'm learning that Publix will be out of a lot of things that customers will add to their orders and um that's one thing I don't like about shopping at Publix even though I work for the company that's one thing that I don't like is that if you're doing a shipped order I hate having to text a substitutions and let them know that they don't have anything so there were a lot of things that they were out of she hadn't responded she wasn't very communicative um and then finally she responds she's like oh oh my gosh i'm so sorry uh she she had you know two sick children at the time she explained to me why she hadn't communicated and i can completely understand that because i'm a mother myself and i've been a stay-at-home mom and um the first three years of being a new wife and mom and um i'm now you know uh, a working mom and uh I, i'm still a wife even though i'm not wearing my ring <laughs> um, i'm still a wife uh i can completely understand and relate so when she finally realized she started adding some things on which end up delaying the order longer um and responding to the things that 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 um Publix was out of and she something she just let it go some things that they were they didn't have the exact count they have the item but not the exact count because companies change their UPC numbers often and they may change their, their count content as well so um she just said I knew when, when, when a mother's shopping I know that they care of having the item not the specifics so of course the diapers she'll deal with a lower count as long as it's the right size the wipes, fine, that one will be fine. You know, certain things that she was able to have me make a decision and she was willing to just, um, you know, take what they had. So I made a lot of those decisions for her and she kind of gave me feedback and just thought, at this moment, you're doing me a favor. Whatever you think is best, I'm happy with. So um, I checked out, let her know that I was on my way. Uh, oh, I let her know that I was about to check out and, and confirm everything on the order what they had what they didn't have they um you know just make sure everything was shot the way she wanted and um i normally text that i'm about to check out once i'm done checking out i'll give them an on the way text message and then i commute there because it's so close it didn't take long for me to get there um i got there in a matter of minutes the tricky thing about this particular location is um, when I got there 
and pulled up, this has to be the steepest, <laughs> curviest driveway I've ever encountered in my life. Um, and it was only one way to go back out. And because she had visitors and cars parked in the driveway, there was no way that I could turn around. I actually had to back out of this driveway. I was concerned about falling off a cliff, uh, damaging my vehicle. Um, she, uh, she, she, she was one that did not have me go inside her home. Um, she took my reusable bags in, took her things out of the bags and brought them back. Um, so that felt that was a little odd, but it's okay. People, some people don't want you to go inside their home and that's totally fine. And I'm learning that I shouldn't always use reusable bags, but she gave no note that she did not, she wanted it dropped off. She didn't meet me outside her home. And because she, she apologized for having company because that, that allowed me not to turn my car around and drive out like I would have wanted to. So I had to literally back out her driveway, this curvy, extremely steep driveway. Then she makes it, she leaves. And then when she notices that I'm having trouble trying to get out her driveway, she then comes back and said, do you want me to help you out? So she started helping me out and telling me how to, to navigate my car to curve this really curvy driveway and steep town drop um something happened to my back top tire that i will address in another video um but i have an idea that maybe it could have been from this delivery which will go into my advice and whether you guys should do shift or not um so uh, i i finally get out of the driveway I'm thinking to myself, I'm glad I'm going home. You know, what a day. <laughs> Only two orders, but what a day. That driveway really <laughs> took me almost out. Like, do I really want to do shit? Like, is this what, no, no one's giving me a heads up about anything. So that's why on my receipts, I'm writing the addresses and writing these kind of notes in here to factor in if I want to take that kind of gamble again. So that's why I do that. So um, I leave, I go home, and when I get home, I realize I don't see a tip at first. But shortly, shortly, you know, later on in the night that evening, um, I guess before their their cutoff point, um, I realize I received a twelve dollar online tip. So that made me feel a little bit better. But I still was worrying about the damage to my vehicle, if there was damage or anything. But there was no real damage, not that I can foresee. And um, that pretty much sums up the first two days of doing shipped and um, my first five orders. So in a total of tips that I earned, I earned 27 on the second day and then 25 in cash on the first day. So that a total of that, the 27 and the 25, what is that? 27 and 25, what is that, 52? $52 um, I earned in two days in tips. And of course the third order on the first day didn't give me a tip in cash or online. So not too bad, not, not, not even counting the, um, not even counting the, the, what you'll get paid for doing the orders. Um, not too bad. I, I would say not too bad. Um, the total mileage I did for the two days is 61.5 miles. Um, I started um, my trip number at 1,324.1 and ended at 1,385.6. And I, they were back to back because my husband and used our second vehicle to go to work. So that's why I kind of combined the first two days. So um, on my fourth part of my video, I'm going to go into my third day. And this is where it starts to get a little bit more interesting. So please stay tuned. And I hope my stories are funny enough or interesting enough that you, I'm giving you a little bit of insight on what it's going to be like.